everyone, Dr. Brian Stenzler here with this week's Wellness Wiki, 14 Bedtime Rituals for Better Sleep. As explained in Chapter 6-3 of my book, Dream Wellness, The Five Keys to Raising Kids for a Lifetime of Physical and Mental Health, more than half of American adults say they experience sleep problems on a regular basis. The things you do before bed can determine whether you toss or turn or get a good night's sleep. This wellness wiki will show you how to create bedtime rituals that will have you waking up every morning feeling refreshed and restored. If you're a parent currently raising children, many of these tips will apply to your children as well, helping them create better sleep habits for a lifetime of better sleep. Included in my book's workbook, there is a creating a sleep healthy lifestyle plan and family sleep plan. As a gift, I've included that resource for you to download for free. Bedtime rituals for your body. One, turn down the lights. Exposure to light causes your body to produce hormones that increases alertness while darkness does the opposite. Turn off the TV and computer screens at least an hour before bedtime and draw the shades down. Most devices emit blue light, which makes your brain think that it's daytime and therefore does not produce melatonin, a hormone needed to fall asleep. Number two, slow down. Many individuals find that exercising late in the day disrupts their sleep. Devote your evenings to gentler activities such as knitting or reading to your kids. Three, have a snack or treat. Certain foods and beverages promote sleep. Eat a light snack with protein and healthy carbohydrates like unsweetened whole grain cereal or gluten-free oatmeal with almond milk. Treat yourself to a small cup of chamomile. Too much liquid could cause you to wake up and need to go to the bathroom, so beware. Avoid sugar, caffeine, and alcohol close to bedtime. Four, apply a fragrance. Lavender is an age-old remedy for insomnia. Keep a lavender plant on your nightstand. Sprinkle a few drops of lavender oil on a cotton ball and slip it inside your pillowcase. Vanilla has similar effects. Five, give yourself a massage. If you're alone in bed, indulge in a self-massage. Use one foot to rub the other. Soak your hands in warm water. Gently rub each finger from the base to the tip. Apply your thumb in circles on the palm of your opposite hand. Six, warm up. Raising your body temperature induces drowsiness. Take a hot bubble bath or slip underneath a heavy blanket. Seven, get into position. Sleep positions could work for or against you. Sleeping on your back with a good cervical pillow uh, is ideal for most people. If you prefer to sleep on your side, Make sure your head is laying parallel to the bed and not propped up or bending down. You want to make sure that it's nice and straight. Feel free to place a pillow between your knees for extra comfort. If you're lying on your stomach, consider flipping to your back or side unless there's a functional reason why you need to sleep on your stomach. I have a favorite pillow that I use called Proper Pillow and there's a link in the notes and you just use Dream 10 for 10% off that pillow. Number eight, treat aches and pains. It's hard to relax when your body is sore. Try to do what you can to feel more body comfort before getting into bed. Stretch, do yoga, use a foam roller, or sit on a massage chair. If the pain is caused by something more than regular muscle soreness, see a chiropractor, acupuncturist, massage therapist, or body worker, or other healthcare professional to get to the root of the issue. And nine, block out noise. Intrusive noises are everywhere, from car alarms in the city to crickets in the country. Turn on a fan or listen to a white noise machine to help you block out the noise. Now we're going to cover bedtime rituals for your mind. 1. Suspend daily concerns. What if you go to bed on time but lie awake worrying about your credit card bills at tomorrow's meeting at work? Resolve to let go of distractions so you can sleep better. Keep a notepad and pencil by your bed so if you get thoughts of genius or remember something important, jot it down so it doesn't stay on your mind all night long. 2. Meditate, pray, or brain tap. Meditation and prayer may just be what you need to guide your mind towards sleep. Relax and focus on virtuous thoughts. Brain tap changed my life by retraining my brain to help me relax, fall asleep, and stay asleep. In the notes here, there's a link to learn more about brain tap. Three, engage in something monotonous. For some people, boredom is the perfect solution. Before getting into bed, organize your sock drawer or read through the manual that came with your car. Hopefully this blog won't put you to sleep. If you're still feeling wired, count sheep or recite multiplication tables to yourself. Four, play a lullaby. Music is so effective at putting babies to sleep that there's a whole category of songs for this purpose. Music is an approach that you can still use when you get older. You might like Mozart or soft jazz. And five, create a trigger. 
Your mind and body is closely connected. Any object or practice can make you drowsy if you learn to associate it with sleep. Put on a pair of soft flannel pajamas when you're ready to retire for the night. Go ahead and hug your teddy bear, whatever it takes. We hope that this wellness wiki will be beneficial for you. And if you loved it, share it with others and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, here's to you and your family living your dream every day.